All right, now on to defensive strategies. First, what is the importance of defense? We would say it's a top priority. Uh, you've heard the quote, defense wins championships. That certainly applies to volleyball. And not only is it important competitively, but from a standpoint of establishing a good culture on our team, defense is hugely a part of that culture where we want to show that we have effort and we have tenacity, especially when it comes to defense. And the objective of defense, obviously you don't want the ball to hit the ground. You want to disallow any points for the opposing team and make it extremely hard for the opposing team um, to score offensively. So if there's legit earned points from the offense, that's one thing, but we want to make it tough for, for them. And we obviously don't want any easy points for the other side as well. There's a couple different types of defensive systems that are most commonly used in volleyball and we use those or a version of those. So the first type is a perimeter defense is kind of the most common kind and the, the type that we like to use the most at Mesa. So for a perimeter defense, the idea is that you're protecting the perimeter of the court with the off blocker kind of protecting the middle here. So against a opposite or a right side attack, you have your libero down the line. We like foot on the line. The opposite or setter is kind of shifting into the angle. And then the middle back person here is also usually shifting towards the angle, um, but a little bit more of a read position here where if they see a seam, they can step up into the seam, or if they see that hitter's turning, that they can go to the line. But generally speaking, the middle back person is in charge of taking care of sort of this back line. And then this person's in charge of taking care of this sideline. This person's in charge of taking care of this sideline. And this off blocker here is in charge of anything sort of in front of the 10 foot line. Uh, if anything is too extremely over to this part, we would have the libero pick that up as well. Uh, against an outside attack, it's somewhat similar to an opposite attack in that the line digger here, foot on the line, this person shifts into the angle, this person might shift into the angle, but go up into the seam again or shift over if they see that. And then the off blocker here is taking the tips um, with the middle and the right side blocking. Against a middle attack, we'll just go with a one for now. The outside and the middle are helping block that, off blocker is the right side. And then these two folks are just normally turning and facing that one attack. And then this person, we usually have them read into the seam initially because this is closing maybe not as quickly um, as we would like, um, but then obviously read from there. A middle attack is obviously a little bit tougher, a little bit quicker. And normally it's just more about get as close to this position as you can and be stopped on contact. The other type of defensive system that's commonly used or a, a version of this is called a rotation defense. Basically the idea here is that you have your back row players basically rotate um, in the direction of the hit. So you would have against an opposite attack, this person would be a little bit further up. Doesn't really indicate that in this picture, but this person would be going up for tips and these two would be rotating to here. Against an outside attack, same thing. You have the right side blocker go up to defend the tips. And then this person who's usually here kind of rotates to here. This person who's usually here rotates to here. This person who's usually here rotates to here. So all of these positions kind of shift to kind of defend more of the tips. And sometimes folks will do a rotation against an outside, but not against an opposite, uh, just sort of depends. Middle blocker defense is honestly not that much different in rotation, but generally speaking, if you're getting really burned on off-speed shots, roll shots, tips, or you know that that's a tendency of a player, you might choose to use this system. All righty. Um, Really important when you are a defender that you have a lot of discipline and a lot of focus. There is very little time on defense to make sure you're in the right place, make sure you're stopped and make sure that you're reading the right things. So the first thing is that you work on always being in the good ready position and the good ready posture because defense requires a lot of pursuit and a lot of movement. And if you're not in the proper position to do that or you're taking negative steps or you're having to go from high to low, that just takes up time that you don't have. 
So cues to yourself as a defender is get to your position, get stopped, and then make sure that your eyes are on the correct thing. Um, so to the next, next bullet point, what are you looking at? What are you reading? Generally speaking, you first need to find out where that set is going so you know where to go defensively. You gotta make sure that you're looking at the quality of the set so that you can kind of decipher what you think the hitter can hit. And then from there, angle of approach, looking at the hitter's shoulders if they're turning one way or the other, as well as looking at the arm swing itself. If you see the arm come all the way back, you might anticipate a full swing. If you see that hand kind of out to the side, you might be looking more for something off speed and making sure that we're, again, not just looking at the ball and reacting to the ball, but looking at all the other things on the front end, the quality of the set, the angle of approach, the speed of the approach, and then anything that the hitter's body kind of shows you. Um, and that kind of all plays into reading. And generally speaking, you have to make all of those reads be decisive with what you see, be confident with what you see, but also be able to adjust. So all of the defensive positions that we showed you earlier, those are just starting points. And then from there, you have to read, you have to react. And if you read or re incorrectly, you have to be able to adjust. Generally speaking, again, absolutely nothing hits the floor without maximum pursuit. And we ask, of course, that you go all out, you be overly aggressive. And if you can play with that sort of mentality, again, to the original point, you're not going to be giving up easy points and you're going to be making it really tough on the offense. In addition to giving your team so much momentum and, and so much of a, of a vibe of like, hey, we got this no matter what. It's something that really fuels the flame of any team when you can be tenacious on defense and when you can make it really tough on the other side you frustrate your opponent and you fire up your team. And of course that's a win-win situation for us. So that's it for defensive strategies. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions, you know how to find me. Um, thanks for listening.